Good evening. Tonight I'm going to read to you all about anchovy. This is an article from Wikipedia. I hope that it bores you to sleep happily. An anchovy is a small common forage fish of the family Engraludea. Most species are found in marine waters, but several will enter brackish water, and some in South America are restricted to fresh water. More than 140 species are placed in 17 genera. They are found in the Atlantic, Indian and Pacific Oceans, and in the Black Sea and the Mediterranean Sea. Anchovies are usually classified as oily fish. Characteristics Anchovies are small green fish with blue reflections due to a silver-colored longitudinal stripe that runs from the base of the caudal tail fin. They range from 2 to 40 centimeters, 1 to 15 and a half inches, in adult length, and their body shapes are variable, with more slender fish in northern populations. The snout is blunt, with tiny sharp teeth in both jaws. The snout contains a unique rostral organ, believed to be electrosensory in nature, although its exact function is unknown. The mouth is larger than that of herrings and silversides, two fish which anchovies closely resemble in other respects. The anchovy eats plankton and recently hatched fish. Distribution Anchovies are found in scattered areas throughout the world's oceans, but are concentrated in temperate waters and are rare or absent in very cold or very warm seas. They are generally very accepting of a wide range of temperatures and salinity. Large schools can be found in shallow, brackish areas with muddy bottoms, as in estuaries and bays. The European anchovy is abundant in the Mediterranean, particularly in the Alboran Sea, Aegean Sea and Black Sea. This species is regularly caught along the coasts of Crete, Greece, Sicily, Italy, France, Turkey, northern Iran, Portugal and Spain. They are also found on the coast of northern Africa. The range of the species also extends along the Atlantic coast of Europe, to the south of Norway. Spawning occurs between October and March, but not in water colder than 12 Celsius, 54 Fahrenheit. The anchovy appears to spawn at least 100 kilometers, 60 miles from the shore, near the surface of the water. Ecology The anchovy is a significant food source for almost every predatory fish in its environment, including the California halibut, rockfish, yellowtail, shark, chinook and coho salmon. It is also extremely important to marine mammals and birds. For example, breeding success of California brown pelicans and elegant terns is strongly connected to anchovy abundance. Feeding behavior Anchovies, like most clopoids, herrings, sardines and anchovies, are filter feeders that open their mouths as they swim. As water passes through the mouth and out the gills, food particles are sieved by gill rakers and transferred into the esophagus. Black Sea. On average, the Turkish commercial fishing fleet catches around 300,000 tons per year, mainly in the winter. The largest catch is in November and December. Peru. The Peruvian anchovy fishery is one of the largest in the world, far exceeding catches of the other anchovy species. In 1973, it collapsed catastrophically due to the combined effects of overfishing and El Nino and did not recover fully for two decades. As food. A traditional method of processing and preserving anchovies is to gut and salt them in brine, allowing them to cure, and then pack them in oil and salt. This results in a characteristic strong flavor, and the flesh turning a deep gray. Pickled in vinegar, as with Spanish bocarones, anchovies are milder, and the flesh retains a white color. In Roman times, anchovies were the base for the fermented fish sauce garum. Garum had a sufficiently long shelf life for long distance commerce and was produced in industrial quantities. Anchovies were also eaten raw as an aphrodisiac. 
Today, they are used in small quantities to flavor many dishes. Because of the strong flavor, they are also an ingredient in several sauces and condiments, including Worcestershire sauce, Caesar salad dressing, remoulade, gentleman's relish, and many fish sauces, and in some versions of Café de Paris butter. For domestic use, anchovy filets are packed in oil or salt in small tins or jars, sometimes rolled around capers. Anchovy paste is also available. Fishermen also use anchovies as bait for larger fish, such as tuna and sea bass. The strong taste people associate with anchovies is due to the curing process. Fresh anchovies, known in Italy as alici, have a much milder flavor. The anchovies from Barcola, in the local dialect Sardoni Barcolani, are particularly popular. These white fleshy fish, which are only found at Sirocco, in the Gulf of Trieste, achieve the highest prices. In Sweden and Finland, the name anchovies is related strongly to a traditional seasoning. Hence, the product anchovies is normally made of sprats and herring, can be sold as anchovy spiced. Fish from the family Engraludea are instead known as sardel in Sweden and sardelli in Finland, leading to confusion when translating recipes. In Southeast Asian countries like Indonesia, Singapore and Malaysia, they are deep fried and eaten as a snack or side dish. They are known as ikan bilis in Malay and ikan teri in Indonesian. Anchovies as food. Anchovies are small common saltwater forage fish in the family Engraludea that are used as human food and fish bait. There are 144 species in 17 genera found in the Atlantic, Indian and Pacific Oceans. Anchovies are usually classified as an oily fish. They are small green fish with blue reflections due to a silver longitudinal stripe that runs from the base of the caudal fin. A traditional method of processing and preserving anchovies is to gut and salt them in brine, allowing them to mature and then pack them in oil or salt. This results in a characteristic strong flavor associated with anchovies and the flesh turns a deep gray. Uses In English-speaking countries, alici are sometimes called white anchovies and are often served in a weak vinegar marinade, a preservation method associated with the coastal town of Collioure in southwest France. The white filets, a little like marinated herrings, are sold in heavy, are sold in heavy salt, or the more popular garlic or tomato oil and vinegar marinade packs. In Spain they are called bocarte, when consumed as freshly cooked fish, anchoa, when salted and commonly sold in cans, and bocaron, when marinated in vinegar and very commonly consumed as snack or appetizer. In Southeast Asian countries, anchovies are known as ikan teri in Indonesia, ikan bilis or sitipina tati in Malaysia, ikan being the Malay word for fish, and dilis, gurayan, monamon, guno or polino in the Philippines. They are usually sold dried, but are also popularly used in fermented condiments, like the, Filimi like the Philippine bagung and the Malaysian budu. Ikan bilis is normally used in a similar way to dried shrimp in Malaysian cuisine. In Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines and Singapore, anchovies are commonly used to make fish stock or are deep fried. Anchovies are also popular ingredients for the traditional Javanese sambal. In Vietnam, anchovy is the main ingredient in the fish sauce, nuoc mam, the unofficial national sauce of Vietnam. In Thai cuisine, dried anchovies are called pla katak haing. They are used in a variety of dishes and especially popular deep-fried as a snack. Similarly to Vietnamese fish sauce, Thai fish sauce, nam pla, is also often made from anchovies. In other parts of Asia, such as Korea and Japan, sun-dried anchovies are used to produce a rich soup similar to sitipina. 
these anchovy stocks are usually used as a base for noodle soups or traditional Korean soups. There are also many other variations on how anchovy is used, especially in Korea. Fresh and dried anchovies are a popular part of the cuisine in Kerala and other South Indian states, where they are referred to as Natholi Chuda and Nethili in Tamil Nadu, and provide a cheap source of protein in the diet. Fresh anchovies are eaten fried or as in, or as in a spicy curry. curry. In Turkey, anchovies are known as hamsi and are eaten between November and March, their name being derived from hamsin, an Arabic term for the winter period. They are generally consumed fried, grilled, steamed, as a meatball and as a doner and pilaf. Anchovy paste is a fish paste food product prepared using anchovies as a primary in ingredient. It is used as a condiment and as an ingredient in various dishes, such as Scotch woodcock, and it is a mass-produced product. It has been used for centuries to provide flavor to foods and as a source of nutrition, and it is a part of the cuisines of Great Britain, Italy, the Philippines, and Vietnam. It is a major export product of Morocco. Basic ingredients in its preparation include mashed anchovies, vinegar, spices and water, and some commercial preparations are produced using these ingredients. Butter is also sometimes used as a base ingredient, and the resultant product is sometimes referred to as anchovy butter, and in French as beurre d'anchois. History Anchovy paste has been used for centuries as a source of nutrition and to provide flavor to foods. Alec, a food byproduct used as a condiment that dates to the times of classic antiquity and ancient Rome, is a paste left over from the preparation of liquamen, a predecessor to garum, prepared using various oily fish, including anchovies, that has been described as a precursor to anchovy paste. Anchovy paste has also been described as a descendant of garum. Anchovy paste is a mass-produced product and is sometimes produced using leftover anchovies from anchovy packing facilities that are processed, mixed with additional ingredients and packaged into tubes. Circa the early 1900s, food coloring was sometimes used in commercial preparation of the paste. Gentleman's Relish is a brand of mass-produced spicy anchovy paste that was introduced in England in 1828. Other companies also produce and purvey prepared anchovy paste, such as Roland Foods Corporation, Crown Prince and General Mills, the latter of which produces Pex Anchovet Spread, which was first introduced in, 19, in 1891. Another brand is Italian Cesar Balena, based in Peretola, Florence. Some uses of anchovy paste include its use as a condiment or ingredient in egg dishes and on toast. It can be used as an ingredient in Hearst over. Anchovy paste is a common food in Italy where it is used served atop canapes and vegetables and as an ingredient in sauces and pasta dishes. It is also a part of the cuisine of the Philippines where it is referred to as bagung balayan and of Vietnam where it is referred to as Mam nem. Anchovy paste can be used as, as an ingredient in the preparation of an so anchovy sauce. Scotch woodcock is a British savoury dish prepared using scrambled eggs atop toast that has been spread with anchovy paste or gentleman's relish. Whole anchovies are also sometimes used in the dish. Bigoli, a pasta with anchovy sauce at a restaurant in Venice, Italy. Anchovy essence is a brown or pink, thick, oily sauce consisting of pounded anchovies, spices such as black pepper or cayenne pepper, and sometimes wine. It is used as a flavoring for soups, sauces, and other dishes. Bagung Bagung is a Philippine condiment, partially or completely made of either fermented fish, bagung, or krill or shrimp paste, alamanga, 
with salt. The fermentation process also produces fish sauce known as patis. The preparation of bagung can vary regionally in the Philippines. Bagung is usually made from a variety of fish species, including the following anchovies, known as dilis, monamon, polino, okurayan, round scads, known as galungkong, otamodios, bonnet mouths, red bait or ruby fish, known as terong, pony fish, known as sap sap, rabbit fish, known as padas, barite gobies, known as ipon, herrings, clupoides e lila, silver perch, known as ayunging. Bagung, made from fish, is encompassed by the term bagung ista, literally fish bagung, in Luzon and northern parts of the Visayas. They can be distinguished further by the type of fish they are made of. Those made from anchovies are generally known as bagung monamon or bagung dilis, and those from bonnet mouths as bagung terong. In the southern Visayas in Mindanao, fish bagung made from anchovies is known as guinamos, also spelled guinamos. Larger fermented fish are known as tinabal. Bagung can also be made from krill. This type of bagung is known as bagung alamang. It is also called uyap, or alamang in the southern Philippines, aramang in Licos, and northern parts of Luzon, and guinamos or dayok in western Visayas. In rare instances, it can also be made from oysters, clams, and fish and shrimp roe. A kind of bagung made in the town of Palayan, Batangas, is also known as bagung Palayan. Preparation Bagung Ista and ba Bagung Alamanga Bagung Ista is prepared by mixing salt and fish, usually by volume. Mixture proportions are proprietary demanded on the manufacturer. The salt and fish are mixed uniformly, usually by hand. The mixture is kept inside large earthen fermentation jars, known as tapayan in Tagalog and Visayan languages, and bernay in Ilocano. It is covered to keep flies away, and left to ferment for 30 to 90 days, with occasional stirring to make sure the salt is spread evenly. The mixture can significantly expand during the process. The preparation of bagung galamang, shrimp or krill paste, is similar, with krill cleaned thoroughly and washed in weak brine solution of 10%. As in fish bagung, the shrimp are then mixed with salt in a 25% salt to 75% shrimp ratio by weight. The products of the fermentation process are usually pale grey to white in colour. To obtain the characteristic red or pink colour of some bagung, a kind of food colouring known as ankak is added. Ankak is made from rice, inoculated with a species of red mould. High quality salt with little mineral impurities is preferred. High metallic content in the salt used can often result in dark colours to the resulting bagung and a less agreeable undertaste. Likewise, oversalting and undersalting also has a significant impact on the rate and quality of fermentation due to their effects on the bacteria involved in the process. Some manufacturers grind the fermented product finely and sell the resulting mixture as fish paste. Patis. Patis, or fish sauce, is a byproduct of the fermentation process. It is a clear, yellowish liquid that floats above the fermented mixture and has a sharp, salty or cheese-like flavor. Sauces similar to patis include Nuoc Mam in Vietnam, Nam Pha in Laos, and Hom Ha in China, Nam Pla in Thailand, Shot Suru in Japan, and Sao Chot in Korea, as well as the garum of ancient Greece in the Roman Empire. Indonesia has an East Javanese condiment called patis, 
pronounced similar to patis in Filipino. A paste made from the caramelized, fermented reduction of pingdang broth, a spicy and tangy herbal soup, typically containing fish or shrimp, occasionally beef or eggs. To obtain patis, fermentation is longer, usually taking six months to a year. During the longer fermentation processes, the fish or shrimp constituents disintegrate further, producing a clear yellowish liquid on top of the mixture due to hydrolysis. This is the patis. It can be harvested once. It has developed its characteristic smell. It is drained, pasteurized, and bottled separately, while the residue is turned into bagung. If the residual solids are not moist enough, brine is usually added. The rate of fermentation can vary depending on the pH levels of the mixture and the temperature. Exposure to sunlight can also reduce the amount of time required to two months. Over the centuries, Western unfamiliarity of bagung has given it a reputation as an exotic dish, portrayed in a positive or negative light depending on the point of view of the writer. For example, one early description with Spanish colonial official Antonia de Morga, whose book Successos de las Islas Filipinas, Events in the Philippine Isles, included a description of bagung as fish which has started to rot and stink. This later prompted preeminent Philippine nationalist José Rizal to denounce the descriptions in his 1890 annotation, saying, This is another preoccupation of the Spaniards, who, like any other nation, treat food to which they are not accustomed or is unknown to them with disgust. This fish that Morga mentions, that cannot be good until it begins to rot, is bagung, and those who have eaten it and tasted it know that it is neither, nor should be, rotten.